Remember, shaitan does not ever control us. Nobody can blame shaitan. Allah, shaitan forced me. No, shaitan does not force. Allah says in the Quran on the day of judgment, when mankind will say to shaitan, why did you do this to us? Shaitan will respond, ma kana li alaykum min sultan. I didn't have powers over you. I didn't control you. Illa, except one thing. And da'utukum fastajabtum li. I called you and you guys responded. That was the control I had. Fala talumuni walumu alfusakum. Don't come and blame me. Go blame yourselves. I didn't have any power over you. When I try to memorize, I usually go on the Quran.com website, but today I wanted to do something different because I don't want to go on my screen, my computer screen at like 6 in the morning. Okay, so now you know the touch read. Use that that your character and conduct is amazing. Don't hurt a soul. Do not slander someone. Do not accuse them. Do not abuse them. Do not backbite about them. Do not hurt them in a way that, subhanAllah, it comes back to you with evil. Because that's called hukukul ibad, the rights of fellow humans. And Allah is very quick. Allah is very quick to retaliate against someone who has hurt people who are close to him, subhanAllah. So you'd rather stay away. Make sure you treat people with respect. Make sure you utter good words. Make sure you stay away from backbiting. Backbiting is to say bad things behind your brother or sister. That are true. That if they heard them, they would feel offended. Subhanallah. Have you ever realized that? If it was not true, it's called Bhutan. It's a slander. That's even worse. These are major, major, major sermons. And then you open it. And it's like, oh my god. Shura is the most important thing in Salah. Salah is not just actions. Go for Ruku and Sujood and say some things. Salah is about your heart. When you know how to focus on Salah, this is the proper Salah. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, some people, they completed their salah, and how many percent of this salah is raised? It's just 10%, sometimes 20%, 50%, 90%, depend to your khushu, depend to your focus, depend how much you focus on that salah. So always ask yourself after every single salah, how many percent did the angels write down for me? Make sure like perform spiritual wudu and physical wudu. Physical wudu is what majority of Muslims, they do. They wash their hands, they wash their face, their arm. But spiritual wudu is when Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when you wash your face, sincerely, Allah will forgive. For you, every single sin that you look by your eyes, every single sin that you do by your hands, by your feet. If you remember this every single word, then this washing is just not, you wash your face physically and your soul spiritually. That's the first step in Khushua. I'm wearing a different hijab today. Guys, let me know if my bun looks good. Think about this. Hmm. Some milk, chocolate milk, yogurt, more milk, some eggs, butter, dessert, um, that, um, cat food, two towels, more cat food, water bottles.
So I can't do pull-ups. I really want to start doing it. So look what I put in my garden. I watched this one girl was making a video about like calisthenics. And she was saying how the basic human has to know how to hang on a bar and do pull-ups. And I was like, girl, I don't know how to do that. Bruh. I'm currently making pide. Oh god. I'm going to put these two things in here because they last longer. something like this but in red but i just saw this then i got a cap and i don't know i just saw it and i was like wait i can imagine myself wearing this then i got this this is a uh, gold bangles or fake gold how do you wear this again um now i was actually hesitant to buy this i don't own any turtlenecks at all then i got a thermal base layer i just thought that it might be joggers i got these they're so cute and comfortable i have been honestly looking for a sweatshirt I love these types of shirts when they're like long and oversized and trust me. You know what I mean? Bombastic side eye. 